what the Herald family has done to go cleaner and greener in our use of electricity and energy. Building our dream home was a perfect way for us to go cleaner and greener. Our home is passive solar with no doors or windows on the north side. The south side is almost all windows, but with an overhang. Utilizing the natural angle of the sun, we have no cooling costs in summer, other than a ceiling fan, because the sun doesn't penetrate the house. In the winter, it does. Operable windows on the east and west sides, along with an operable skylight, form a convection current that takes the hot air out of the house. The structural walls of our home are rammed earth, made of recycled automobile tires, filled to plumpness with earth that was sledgehammered in. The concrete slab floor sits directly on the earth. This all gives us plenty of thermal mass to store the heat of the sun in the winter. We do have drapes to cover the south-facing windows when the sun sets to keep the warmth from dissipating. We are off-grid. Our electricity comes from 10 solar panels mounted on the roof. The solar power is converted to regular AC electricity in an inverter and is stored in 20 golf cart sized batteries. Because we are our own electric company, we are very conscious of electrical usage. When we built the house in 2003, we purchased all new Energy Star appliances, except for the washing machine we brought with us, since we had already replaced an old agitator type washer with a horizontal axis front loading washing machine that is energy efficient. Our hot water heater is a propane fueled on demand type with electronic ignition, which saves the energy consumed with pilot lights and also only heats water when it is needed instead of keeping a tank of water hot 24 7. Instead of using a clothes dryer, we dry our laundry on a clothesline. All the lights in our home use compact fluorescent bulbs, except for LED lights in the closet and on the front porch. They consume even less electricity than the compact fluorescents. We use a percolator on our gas range rather than an electric drip coffee maker. We have everything that draws electricity, even when off, on power strips so that when we turn them off, we don't continue to consume electricity with ghost loads. Some of those items are TVs, VCRs, compact disc players, and satellite TV. Even though I use a computer and satellite internet with wireless router all day, I have all of those on a power strip so they can be easily turned off when I leave the house or when we go to bed at night. Our utility costs for an entire year consist of the price of 250 gallons of propane, which is used for the kitchen range, the hot water heater, and a space heater in the bathroom. Our costs for the last year came to approximately $400 for all of our utilities for a 2,000 square foot home.